Hi guys and welcome to my Asian 3 gameplay. So today we are continuing with some dialogues. We need to gather a few missions for us to do. So yeah, let's get to that. I'm not part of that sorry mess down there. You speak nonsense. Look at yourself. What else could you be? I am Chaka Hirutu, chieftain and high shaman of the Kila. I have great responsibility here and little patience for you who disturb the peace of my people. Calm down, friend. I'm not here to make a fuss. Can you help me? We have enough of our own problems, Kucho. Our ancestors are enraged and no longer speak to us. The ocean and our jungle have gone crazy. And to make matters worse, there's that pirate filth on the beach making life difficult for us. No, Kucho. We cannot help you. You're a powerful voodoo shaman, aren't you? Yes, I am. Only Chani is stronger than I. Chani? Yes, she is our chief, Kiki. She is not here. She has gone to appease the Oracle. When is she coming back? I do not know. Chani has traveled to the Forbidden Land. That was many suns ago. Only the Hike know if she will succeed. My spirit was banished to the underworld. Hmm. So you're a lost ghost. More dead than alive. But I'm not that dead, either. It's only a matter of time, Gucho. But I must be able to do something about it. I can heal your wounds and cast a few spells. But if your spirit is already wandering the underworld, you'll need a more powerful sorcerer than me. Use the time you have left to do good, Gucho. Bones. My comrade in arms says you could provide me with some relief. Bones? Is he a Tonka? No. But he once had problems with his spirit. But a shaman helped him. Then he ate a black heart. Hmm. Tasty. Well, of course. You don't eat it raw. Gucho. Black hearts have <laughs> tremendous life force when they are purified. When eaten, a purified black heart will strengthen your blood. You will be more resilient. How do I clean a raw black heart? You need the heart and a totem of innocence. Bring it to me and I shall consecrate the raw heart to the Hike. The black heart will then be pure, and you can eat it. Where do I get a totem of innocence? First, find yourself a virgin, and then... Something simple would be appreciated. I see that we'll have to do things differently with you, Gucho. You should use the bones of an innocent monkey to purify a black heart. It should have the same effect as our usual method. Where do I find the bone of an innocent monkey? Monkeys are cheeky, courageous, and they do a lot of stupid things in their life. You will have to catch a very young monkey, one that is untainted, 
so its bones can be of use. Many monkeys were born close to the village recently. Hunt them, or see one of our merchants. They should be able to sell you one of these bones. What does the shaman know of the dangers at sea? I know that the spirits of the Guchos rage across the waters. Their evil ships bring death to our land. Hmm, you're right. Did you say there's trouble in the jungle? We have recently mourned the loss of many. The spiders of Kila leave their caves more often and kill the Tufas of my people. We seldom go hunting now. What about the pirates at the beach? They cannot be trusted. They want what is ours. That is why they are here. And once they have it, it will be corrupted. We will sacrifice them to our ancestors. How can I stop you from starting a war with the pirates? Oh no. We will sacrifice them soon, and the ancestors will come to our aid. Aren't you exaggerating just a little? You are wrong, but go. Talk to Tenya of our Kiki. In her words lie wisdom, in mine only pain. <laughs> Can you show me voodoo magic? You want me to instruct you in the teachings of our ancestors? That's right. Ha! I will never reveal our secrets to a stranger. The ancestors are angered. They have not spoken to us for many days. I cannot instruct you unless they listen to me again. How did you anger them? It was not us. It's the work of the evil powers that reach for us. The visions of Kiki Tenya must be free of death and destruction once more. Tenya has long endeavored to obtain the Hike's favor. We, Kila, must wait patiently for Tenya. Can't you speed it up? Something might happen to the Kila by then. Our fate is nothing without the aid of the Hike, Gucho. Your hasty words will not help. I'll do it. I'll make your ancestors talk again. You are brave. And you have the tenacity of a panther. But whether that's enough remains to be seen. It is highly unlikely, as the Hike do not speak to us Kila these days. So, what if I manage to do it? Impossible. But... Well, if they do speak to you, I will instruct you in voodoo magic. All right. There you go. Gabo, be careful, Gucho. Then, you will be one of us. Akila, I will admit you into our tribe and entrust you with our secrets. But, that also means you must defend our people and cannot be a member of any other community. I would consider it an honor, Chaka Hirutu. Now, go to Tenya and help her finish the Scepter of the Ancestors. Only with the Scepter will we be able to make the Hike answer our prayers. Come back to me when Tenya has completed her task. Then, and only then, will we talk again about voodoo magic, Gucho. Tell me more about your oracle. The oracle Margoloth was the very first being in this world. She holds the knowledge of millennia within her. She has prevailed throughout time and has observed our destiny ever since our birth here. The Forbidden Land is our home. 
Woe is he who challenges Margoloth. Be warned. She is wise, yet merciless when strangers disturb her peace. Where is this forbidden land? It is beyond the Great Gate in the east, and forbidden to you Guchos. The oldest Tonka guards the entrance. Baraka is his name. Only he can open the gate. He protects the forbidden land from the eyes of strangers. <laughs> Damn, these dialogues are long. Your chieftain doesn't seem to like the pirates down at the beach very much. Chief, they are not at one with nature, and nothing good comes from their tongue. But Chakahirutu is wrong. The Guchos are like small children. If nobody holds your hand, your actions are rash. And like every child, you have to be shown the right path. But you walk that path on your own. How can I dissuade Hirutu from sacrificing the pirates? You? No, Gucho. You will never dissuade him. You have not been here long. He will not listen to you. I won't let him sacrifice the pirates. If you want him to listen, you must walk the path of the Kiki. Path of the Kiki? What's that? Listen, only a Tonka who grew up here can persuade him. I didn't grow up here. Combine the panther's strength, the snake's wisdom, and the alligator's patience. Right. How's that gonna help? Your task is to bring me a hair from Tonka Makoto. Why do you need his hair? It's the only way I can work voodoo. It will allow you to be a Tonka who grew up here. I will use the hair to make you a doll. It will be filled with the power of the Hike. Makoto's body and spirit will obey you. Through him, you will be able to dissuade our chieftain. Sounds if quite a lot could go wrong. But that's what adds spice to life. Tell me when you are ready for this task. Where do I find Makoto? He is guarding the east entrance to our village. Go down the steps and you will see him. I'll get you one of Makoto's hairs. Chief. But bear in mind that Makoto won't give it to you willingly. Where am I supposed to get it? The fruits of the night made it easy for you. And what's that supposed to mean? Bahati's bed will give you the answer, Gucho. <laughs> and where is his bed? What are you doing here? I'm just stealing some stuff. I don't know anything about voodoo. Magic people, voodoo people. Okay guys, I'm going to end it here for today, so thanks all for watching, feel free to comment on the video, rate it up or down, subscribe and all that good stuff and I will see you guys next time.